all my years of teaching, I have heard the most wonderful excuses why one can't or they won't exercise. Now, I would like to hear your excuses. Well, Kellen, I have really sensitive knees, and while I do want to exercise, I've found that through jogging or aerobics that they just put, to most exercises just put too much pressure on the knee area. Yeah. I find that there's just not enough time to go through a, uh, a full routine of exercises on a daily basis, and so I just don't. I exercise regularly, but it seems that my muscles get shorter and bulkier rather than longer and leaner. And since I'm short, I kind of feel funny that I'm getting bigger <laughs> and wider. <laughs> <laughs> well, darlings, at my age and with arthritis in my spine, I dare not miss a day of exercising. I do this one hour every day. And the doctor told me at one time that if I had not been exercising, I would be bedridden. This is my darling mother, and she's 80 years old. <laughs> well, Margaret, I don't know if I'm catching up to you or not, but uh, I did start to jog recently uh, to try to maintain my weight, but uh, I'm in a pretty stressful uh, job, and I need uh, some kind of exercise to work on that. Well, I've really suffered my entire life from back problems, and after two operations, I've just been afraid to do anything, let alone exercise. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have the exercise studio in Atlanta, and um, I hear these excuses every day, and uh, I see people making changes and improving their problems, so there is hope. <laughs> now I will show you why you no longer need an excuse. Let's get ready for a gentle, wonderful, terrific class. <laughs>